Let's face it, sometimes you can encounter a problem that you're not sure about. So here are some basic troubleshooting steps to help you find a resolution. Problem, the engine cranks but won't start. Well, first make sure the red quarter turn shutoff valve and all cylinder valves are open. Then see if the fuel system is providing proper fuel pressure to the engine by checking the high and low pressure gauges at the FMM. Normal ranges are high pressure greater than 500 PSI and low pressure 125 plus or minus 10 PSI. Note that high pressure less than 500 PSI may operate, but the engine is not guaranteed to run at full power. Check the condition of the chassis fuse for the FMM. Problem, the engine will not crank. Then follow these steps. Check to make sure all of the receptacle caps and FMM doors are properly closed. Make sure the vehicle's starting battery is good and fully charged. If the vehicle is equipped with the Agility Fuel System's drive-away protection option, this may be bypassed to determine if the no crank condition is caused by the Agility System. See your service manual. If the engine cranks with the ECU bypassed, it is an agility issue. Please refer to agility for service recommendations. If the engine still won't crank, this is likely a chassis issue, not a problem in the agility fuel system. These troubleshooting tips should resolve most issues, but if not, feel free to contact your local agility service provider or agility. We're here to help.